Hello everybody, my name is Sheila SL Leeds and today I'm going to be doing the mid-year freakout tag. I just watched that bookies version of this video and I will also link down below whoever started the video along with that one. I've seen this on booktube a lot recently and I see it like every year around this time and I've obviously never participated in it since this is my first year making booktube videos but I wanted to just because I wanted to give a quick wrap up of the books that I've been reading. The thing is, is that I'm almost done with my reading goal for the year. I've read 48 books out of the 50 that I plan to read but at the same time it feels like I haven't really read that many. Like I've read lots of series or lots of like graphic novels and so I feel like I haven't been reading the same kind of books that I would have been reading last year that I took the whole year to read. But let's just get right into the video. So number one is best book that you read in 2018 and for that I picked Whatever by S.J. Gosley. This has one of like the funniest premises that I've ever read and I don't know I just really enjoyed it. It has a bisexual main character who doesn't really know that he's bisexual and he like finds out in a very entertaining way and it's just like a very realistic book about teenagers and like high school. It's just very authentic and I felt like I could really relate to the characters instead of like kind of having these idealized stereotypical teenagers these were like actual real ones this was just so entertaining and so relatable and i also love the book cover and it was just all around great this is definitely one of my favorite lgbt books if not one of my favorite books of all time it's fantastic and you should definitely read it number two is what is the best sequel that you've read in 2018 and for that i would pick pretty much the entire saga series this is the first saga graphic novel volume and while this is obviously not the sequel i have the rest of the seven volumes that are out right now and they're all fantastic and if you don't know what this is it's set in space it involves like a galactic war and these two people who've fallen in love despite the fact that they are on different sides of this war they have a kid and they're on the run from all the people who think that there shouldn't be peace between their two different people and it's just very intense it's very epic and i absolutely love it i'm always very stressed out reading this because my favorite character almost dies in every single volume but you know, there's another one coming out later this year and I'm very excited to read it. Number three is a new release that you haven't read yet but you want to. And for that I picked Circe by Madeline Miller. I got this in the April book of the month box and also Madeline Miller is a fantastic author. She's the author of one of my favorite books, The Song of Achilles. This is a book about Circe. I know the author is a classic scholar so she knows a lot about what she's talking about in regards to classical antiquity which is what this story is about. I don't know that much about Circe herself which I feel like is a good thing and I really want to pick this up but I just have so many books to read that I haven't even like tried or even put this really on a TBR that I know of. Number four is most anticipated release of the second half of the year and so for that I would pick Raven Song by TJ Klune which is the sequel to Wolf Song. This is a book series about queer werewolves. That's kind of the easiest way to go about it. I really like the writing style of this. I feel like it's very unique. It's very confusing if you're not like actually trying to like understand it like it deals a lot with like the pack mentality and also like the bonds between people and also there's so much angst in this and it's very intense and number five is biggest disappointment so for this i have two books the first one is otherworld by jason siegel and Kristen miller i read this for the winter biannual bibliothon earlier this year and it was the first time i've ever participated in this and this was the kind of required book for the bibliothon like and i heard that it was somewhat similar to ready player one which i've never read because i haven't really been interested in it like it's on my tbr but like so is like everything and i just really hated it like it was poorly written the main character was absolutely disgusting i have a review for it which i can link down below which gives more information about my thoughts it's about video games and i really enjoy video games so i thought that i should like it more but it just made me like want to play video games instead like i felt like i was wasting my time with the book but i finished it it was awful don't read it and the other disappointment of the year was measure for measure by william shakespeare i love shakespeare and this was the like worst shakespeare play i've ever read i hated it i hated the themes in it it was big about like sexual harassment and like abuse of women and just like it was just awful there were so many like weird things happening and obviously like there were some like beautiful lines but it didn't really make up for the cringy and disgusting parts of this play and so I just didn't like it. Number six is biggest surprise and so for that I picked Still Lives by Maria Hummel. I got this as my May book of the month pick and it's not really a surprise because I thought that I was going to hate it. It's just a surprise because I didn't realize how much I would enjoy it. It was such a great book. I don't read thrillers and especially not adult thrillers like as you can see from my shirt I really like Scooby-Doo and like kind of like those easy kind of mysteries and this was like super intense super terrifying I was like on, on the edge of my seat like panicking the whole time but it was absolutely fantastic and I highly recommend it if you like art this involves like an art heist where the artist gets kidnapped instead of the art and it is so interesting I honestly had no clue about the mystery like I had no idea who was behind everything I kept like thinking it was like different people because like you know this from the synopsis like the person's gonna get kidnapped or they're just missing and so you just like you're like trying to figure out who it is just like pinpointing like oh this person looks kind of suspicious and then oh 
It was so intense. Number seven is favorite new author, which can be a debut or an author that's new to you. And so for that, I picked TJ Klune, who is the author of Wolf Song and Raven Song, which was earlier on my list. As I mentioned, I just really enjoy the writing style of this book. And hopefully at some point I can like work up to reading his other books. They're also filled with like LGBT representation, but like I feel like when I've read the synopses, like some of them don't seem like they're for me. Like some of them are like more contemporary and like this one is like definitely paranormal and like fantasy. I think he just got a book deal for a YA series. And so hopefully I'll read that because I read like the little snippet that was released from it and it sounded really interesting, but I cannot wait for the next one of these books. So that is what I'm most looking forward to right now, but eventually I'll get into the rest of TJ Klune's books. Number seven is newest fictional crush. And for that, I picked Nick Young from Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. Nick Young is the boyfriend of the main character, Rachel. Partially it's because I like saw the movie trailer and he's like beautiful and amazing. And like reading this, you just know how great he is. And he is like the most oblivious dude in the world like has no idea that his family is like the worst and trying to like sabotage his relationship he's just like i love rachel and here's my family he's just like so smart but also like just doesn't notice what's going on and he thinks everything's fine but he actually like he makes up for it he tries his hardest he definitely like has priorities which you see and it's very impressive like how he goes about like proving like what is important to him and it was just fantastic. I love him and I just, oh, he's great. Number nine is newest favorite character. So for that, I picked Lister Bird from I Was Born for This by Alice Oseman. This is Alice Oseman's third novel. I love her. And I also love this character. I was going to put him as my fictional crush, but then I was like, you know, I just like, like, I don't know if I want to date him. I just want to like hug him. Is he okay? This is about a wildly popular band and he is one of the members of the band, but he's kind of like the one that's kind of like pushed to the side. Like there's this bromance uh theoried romance happening between the two other band members and he is kind of like the third like the one that's kind of left out and just like reading that it just made me so sad for him like i was like i see like how sad he is even if the other characters don't and i can like read into that he's also going through a lot of stuff before he became like a huge superstar he was like very impoverished also he is a bisexual character so i like him for that everybody thinks that he's like sleeping around and when i read that i was kind of like oh he's like that stereotype of the bisexual character but then it turned out there was like so much more to him and i would have loved him no matter what but like the more you find out as like the book goes on like it's so intense and so like dramatic but like it just made me like fall so in love with this boy like i just want him to be okay and i think he is so that's good number 10 is a book that made you cry so for that i picked the all for the game series by nora sakovic this is the first book it's the Poxel court and this is a reread for me it's my favorite series of all time i've read it three times now i think and this just made me cry because this is such an important series to me. It's something that I really like adore and I'm a big part of like the fan community on Tumblr for it. So actually reading like the canon, like real, like this is like the real deal text. It's like a completely different experience. So number 11 is a book that made you happy. And so for that, I picked Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. This, if you don't know, is a book about a gay boy in Georgia who is blackmailed when somebody finds out that he is having like email conversations with this other closeted gay kid at his school. Well, that is like super stressful. <laughs> the romance in it and like the characterization and just seeing all like the friendships in this it just made me so happy like this is a happy ending as opposed to a sad ending which a lot of lgbt media does have like lots of like kill your gays which is they don't end up together and everything just like it's like happy it's a happy ending number 12 is favorite book to movie adaptation you've seen this year and so for that i would pick love simon which is the adaptation of this book that i just talked about i did a movie review of it which i will link down below number 13 is your favorite review that you've done this year and the booktube version of this is the favorite video that you filmed this year and so for that I have like three choices I was trying to narrow it down, but I decided to just say all three. The first one is my bookstore crawl vlog that I did with my friend Brian. It was just very fun. I got to go to a bunch of bookstores with him, and I just wanted to, like, take a video, show everybody what I was doing. There's a bunch of really cool bookstores in Chicago. And a lot of the time, I just go to, like, Barnes & Noble instead of going to these smaller independent bookstores, and so I wanted to go there, and they have fantastic books. I bought something at every single one of them. The second video that I really enjoyed making was the Royal Wedding Withdrawal, partially just because I really enjoyed the Royal Wedding, which is the reason I thought I had to make the video, but also I just really like talking about the books and talking about the different elements of them that related them to the royal wedding and why I think that you should read them. And then third and final video that I made that I really enjoyed was my favorite childhood book series. I have read so much for like my entire life and there are a lot of book series that like I read when I was a kid that had such a great impact on me that I have not reread or I don't read now. So it was fantastic to just like take a trip to memory lane and talk about those and also see like the different elements of them that I enjoyed and that I see in other books and the, just the things that resonated with me and the things that like I can still remember to this day because they were so important. Number 14 is the most beautiful book that you have bought this year. For that I picked Tyler Johnson Was Here by Jay Coles. This is so pretty. I've not read this book but 
it is about police brutality and race relations in America and so it definitely has like a very deep and dark undertone of death and racism but at the same time it has such a fantastic cover. And last but not least number 15 is what books do you have to read by the end of the year. I don't really want to set like myself like these goals of books that I have to read this year like I'm bad enough trying to keep up with my complete TBR like sometimes I read a few books from it but usually not all of them and so there's only one book that I really want to finish before the end of the year and that is God's Grave by Jay Kristoff because this is the second book in the Nevernight trilogy and the third book is coming out in September I think and so I want to read this so that I can read that book for the first book in the series at the beginning of 2017 but I picked this up and then never read it. I really want to because I absolutely adored that series and I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of my favorite books of the year once I actually get around to it. This is just the only thing that like I'll be very disappointed if I don't get around to this this year. I just thought of another book that I really like to read this year. That is The Fall of Language in the Age of English by Mine Mizumura. This is a book kind of about my major which is linguistics. It's about language and it definitely seems really interesting. It's just like it's a non-fiction book and that's not really something that I read very often so I've been kind of putting it off for that reason but I'm also super interested in it and I want to read books more about the things that I'm studying in school and so I feel like this would be a good way to go with that. So that is the end of my mid-year book freakout tag. I'm not going to tag anybody but if you want to do it then I tag you. You should definitely do it. It's very fun just to look back on all the books that you've read and just so you know all of my like links are down below if you want to friend me on Goodreads or follow me on Twitter or anything like that. Everything is down below so you can connect with me and we can just talk about books and everything else. It's fantastic. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!